What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Hannah 1987, and we're gonna start our playthrough of Catherine. So let's get this shit started, shall we? All right. Uh, we're gonna play this game on normal. Um, <laughs> and uh, the reason why I say that. Grab a snack and enjoy the strange. I started playing this game on normal yesterday on another playthrough, and it's really difficult. So I'll just warn you that right now. So uh, here we go. How the story is presented to you. When the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story Whoa. awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden. Dude, I wish Lake. I had a fro like that. Your guide for the night is me, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die. In no real way! Life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm. What a playboy, Giddy. huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtain. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. Here we go. Whoopa! Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of it! <laughs> Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little <coughs> out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> no, I tell you this, guys. The soundtrack in this game is amazing. Oh, yeah. Alice representing Catherine! Yo 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 Alice always gotta have that opening Japanese song. And the sheep. We like to thank the sheep for this game. Animation Works Studio 4 fan. Yo, yo, yo. Do snap.
up and climb. Who are you? Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die? Are you fucking serious? The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional buttons to move. You can use your analog stick just to let you guys know. All right. All right. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to... Press the cross button to grab the block. While holding the block, use the directional buttons to push or pull it. You can also undo your last move by pressing select. Use it to give yourself a second chance. Finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional continuum. If you see one, make an effort to get it. It'll be worth the effort. around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you can put yourself into an impossible situation. Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. First, try pulling a block to make some footing. Edge. Gotta go for those coins. All right. All right, I got it. This is very important. So make sure you remember what I'm going to tell you. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean, they connect at the edges? Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. The edges glow bluish white when making a connection. Try it. connect doesn't make any sense how is it not falling I mean what about gravity don't think about it just use it to your advantage they won't just get used to it quickly making stairs is the core of successfully scaling the tower use the edges to create st all right I got it Get out of here alive. We'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec. I can get out through here. Sweet. This game's so good, dude. The light. The light. What the fuck is that? Oh shit! Good escape. Congratulations. That was splendid. Silver. The underground really? cemetery lies beneath. Nape. 
piss the bed. Today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. The yeah. So um, sorry. Are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like, where you're in danger? No, no, you actually <coughs> die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing <laughs> in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that oh, sounds God. like you. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Oh man, how long has it been? It's been so long, I can't remember. Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking God how they're doing. Goddamn mother's asking how they're doing. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? suppose and in other news we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! No! Oh, two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one! Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. <laughs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. You know <coughs> she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Pause. Alright guys, look forward to part 2. I had to pause it here because I'm reaching that time limit. So it's Hand 1907. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, look forward to Catherine Playthrough Part 2.